Hey everyone, Chef Ryan here from Growing Chefs Ontario for our October edition of our monthly kids cooking class. October is one of my favorite times of year. The leaves are changing colors. My favorite holiday is right around the corner and these little guys are everywhere you look. So pumpkins are not just for decoration. They're actually super healthy and delicious to eat. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin sauce pasta. This recipe is sweet, spicy, and overall delicious. So we're going to start our recipe by processing our pumpkins. This month, we're trying something new where we're providing a, an ingredient box for you to cook along with us at home. Hopefully this will make things a little bit easier. So in your ingredient box, you'll find these slices of pumpkin. You're going to start by using a paring knife or a safe chopper, and you're going to start to chop up the pumpkin into little pieces. So we'll take a look at our pumpkin slice, and we're going to start by just removing the skin all around the outside. You wanna chop your pumpkin up into sort of smallish pieces so that it breaks down easier. So once you get the skin off, you can use either your paring knife and start cutting it into little cubes. Make sure you use that bear claw or your safe chopper and break it down into small pieces. A safe chopper works really well for this. So I'm going to do this to all of my pumpkin. You should have about four cups of chopped pumpkin. <laughs> I finished cutting up all of my pumpkin. I've cut it so that it's roughly the size of a very large pea. If you didn't get our ingredient box, uh, you can check out our other video by Chef Anna where she walks you through how to break down a pumpkin properly. It can be a little bit tr tricky. Uh, so now that I have all of my pumpkin cut up, I'm going to put it in my pot with half of my butter and half of my oil. And I'm going to turn that on to a medium heat. And I'm just going to start to soften or cook my pumpkin. While my pumpkin is cooking, I'm going to start to process my red pepper. So I have a medium sized red pepper here. I'm going to take my knife and just split it down the center very carefully. And then I'm going to remove the uh, white insides and the seeds. My red pepper, I'm going to dice roughly the same size as my pumpkin. So I, I like to cut it down the center again and then just start cutting it into strips using my bear claw, going very slowly and carefully, and then turn it and cut it the other way, making sort of like little cubes. I'm just gonna let my red pepper hang out on my cutting board while I process my next couple of ingredients. So I have some fresh rosemary here. To process the rosemary, I'm going to use a pair of scissors. It's a really great way to cut herbs. Um, without using a knife. So I'm just gonna snip my rosemary up into little pieces, just like that. I'm looking for about one tablespoon of rosemary here. If your rosemary is very woody, you can use your fingers and pinch the woody stem and drag it along, removing those softer leaves, and then use your scissors to snip those up as well. If you like rosemary a lot, you can use a little bit more than a tablespoon here. You can also substitute other fresh herbs like sage. So we've got our rosemary there. I'm going to add two cloves of garlic. So to process my garlic, I'm just going to use the palm of my hand and crush it or smash it just to remove that paper from the outside. Again, if you really like garlic, you can add a little bit more here and then I'm going to use a grater to gr finely grate my garlic. You can use a safety chopper as well. I find this uh, rasp or a grater works really well. So I'm just going to grate that right onto my rosemary because they're going into the pot at the same time. Be careful with the tips of your fingers here. My pumpkin's cooking away in the pot so I'm going to add my rosemary and my garlic now. I want to just be able to smell that garlic, that fragrant garlic smell. And then I'm going to add my stock so that my garlic doesn't burn. Garlic burns very easily and it's not pleasant when it's burned. The pumpkin has begun to soften but not turn color. I'm not looking for any brown on my pumpkin. 
My garlic is all chopped up with my rosemary. I'm just going to slide that into the pot, give it a stir and cook it for about one minute until that garlic gets super fragrant. And then I'm going to add my stock. So I have chicken stock, but you can use vegetable stock. And then I'm going to let that simmer until the stock has reduced by half. So reducing means evaporating the water. So I'm looking to evaporate that water, but concentrate all of those flavors in there and soften the squash. It's gonna start to break down and this is what's going to become our sauce. As your stock is reducing, you can use the back of your wooden spoon to sort of break up the chunks of pumpkin. The starch from the pumpkin will start to thicken your sauce. While you're waiting for your stock to reduce, I have a large pot of salted boiling water. To that, I'm going to add four cups of pasta. In our ingredient box, we've sent you with fusilli pasta, but you can use uh, maybe bow tie or farfalle, something that's going to really soak up that sauce and all of those little nooks and crannies of the pasta. If you want to, you can do this part ahead of time. Just make sure you reserve a half a cup of the cooking liquid from the pasta. My sauce is reduced, so I'm going to add my diced red pepper to it. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of 35% cream. This is going to give us some real richness to our sauce. And again, I'm going to reduce that down. So while that's cooking, I'm going to start to process my kale. So I have some lovely green kale here that we grew in our garden. And I'm just going to remove the tender parts of the kale from that fibrous uh, center there. And I'm going to cut it up into small pieces. If you don't like kale, you can use spinach here as well. So to process my kale, I'm going to gather it all together in a bunch. And again, using my bear claw, I'm just going to run my knife over it. This is going to add some nice green color to our pasta, but lots of flavor as well. After I process my kale, I'm going to use a fine grater and start to zest my lemon. So this is going to add some brightness Sometimes cream sauces can become a little rich, so this is just going to brighten it up and make it a little more fresh. I'm also at this point going to add a pinch of chili flakes. So if you don't like spicy things, that's okay. You don't have to add the chili flakes at all. I just find the heat sort of balances nicely with the sweetness of the pumpkins. My pasta is just about finished. We're going for a nice al dente with our pasta. So al dente means cooked, but just barely. So it's not mushy. Still has a bit of a bite to it. Make sure you save about a half a cup of that pasta water when you strain it. So I'll put my kale and my lemon zest right into my pot so that it, the kale can start to cook down and soften in that cream and stock mixture. At this point, I'm also going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. When you're making cream sauces like this, you're going to find it really needs probably more salt than you think it should. So make sure you're tasting it as you go um, so you can adjust the seasoning so that it's where you want it to be. A Little bit of our chili flakes. And now I'm going to strain our pasta. I've strained my pasta. Make sure you get an adult to help you with that part. It can be a little bit tricky. Uh, if you take a look at our sauce right now, it's really started to thicken. It's a really nice consistency. I'm going to add the rest of my butter and a little bit of olive oil just to add a touch more richness to our sauce. And I'm going to let that melt in. I'm also at this point going to add some fresh Parmesan cheese. So just using a fine grater grate it right into the pot. The cheese is going to thicken the sauce as well and add some nice salty flavor. That's good. And now it's time for the noodles. So I'm going to add my cooked noodles straight into the sauce. 
And if my sauce is a little bit too thick or it doesn't coat all of my noodles, then I can use some of that reserved cooking liquid. So that half a cup of strained pasta water, I can add it to my sauce now if my sauce is a little bit too thick. The starch from the water will help everything cling to the noodles. Yes, so it looks like I'm a little bit dry on my sauce here, so I'm just gonna add a splash of that cooking water. That looks great. So I'm going to let this all heat up together. You can see I still have some chunks of pop pumpkin in there, and now I'm going to give it a try. So I have some spoons here. Make sure you get a clean spoon every time you try your sauce. So like I said, it's going to need quite a bit of salt and maybe some more Parmesan cheese to give it that really creamy, delicious flavor. And that's it. So our pasta is ready to serve. As chefs, we always want to think about plating and presentation. So as I'm bowling up my pasta, you can see there are lots of nice colors in there that are not only super delicious, but they look good. So the green and orange and red. After I bowl up my pasta, I'm going to add some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. So as you're eating it, you can sort of dig through that topping of Parmesan cheese to get to that creamy pasta underneath. I think that looks pretty tasty. Our pumpkin fusilli pasta. Enjoy guys.